So you spent years of your life hustling, grinding your butt off, and then after so long, you look down and you see a big gut. You see some love happens. You see that tire around your waist, but you're not exactly sure what steps you need to take to start getting rid of it. In this video, I'm gonna share the beginner's guide to getting rid of belly fat. Now, if you find the video helpful, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. Let's get to the action. All right, guys, listen, I'm gonna be straight up with you. I've never been overweight, but I was in a position early on in my life where, you know, I had played sports, football, ran track, but I wasn't as lean and chiseled as I wanted to be. And I found myself standing in the mirror looking at my stomach and I'm like, damn, my abs are not as chiseled and lean as I want them to be. And so, you know, I went on this whole information binge, looking at magazines like Men's Health, Muscle and Fitness, bodybuilding.com just trying to figure out exactly what I need to do and I found myself you know doing all these ab workouts doing all these you know cardio routines thinking that that was going to be the thing that was going to help me get my abs more chiseled and I see a lot of other guys making the same damn mistake you know they're doing all these ab workouts they're doing all this cardio but when they look in the mirror, they still not seeing the results that they want. Or when they put their shirt on, they still got that big ass stomach poking out and they just don't like it. And so here's the thing where most guys mess up. So when most guys mess up, including myself, we try to rely on just doing ab workouts because it logically you think, okay, if I just do abs, I'm gonna be able to get abs, even if I got a gut. But what happens is, the abs just get stronger, but the fat on top of the abs stay there. That's not what we want. And so what we actually supposed to do in the beginning, this is the beginner's guy, right? You gotta focus on nailing down your nutrition first because all that fat around your stomach, the love handles, even man boobs, guys, cause I know a lot of guys you know, who follow me have man boobs. You gotta focus on dropping that body fat and just doing exercises and lifting weights, that's not what's gonna get rid of the belly fat. What we gotta focus on is nutrition. That's the easiest, simplest, and surest and fastest way to get rid of belly fat, all right? Focus on nutrition first. Understand how much you need to eat to start dropping body fat. So what I'm gonna do is give you my J. Jackson diet equation. This is where we're gonna multiply your current body weight times nine, 10, 11, or 12. Now, if you multiply your current body weight times nine or 10, that's a little bit more aggressive. If you wanna drop body fat more aggressively, if you wanna drop body fat a little bit slower, you're gonna multiply your current body weight times uh, 11 or 12. And you still go drop body fat, but it's just not gonna be as fast. And after you get done with this part, this is gonna be the amount of calories that you need to consume on a daily basis to start dropping body fat. If you go over that amount of calories, you ain't gonna be able to get rid of that stomach, all right? And so make sure you get that number first. Start tracking your food inside of an app like MyFitnessPal. And then the second thing you wanna focus on is protein intake, guys, it's important. If you wanna build up muscle, if you want to speed up your metabolism, if you want to recover from your workouts a lot faster, protein is very important. And so the equation for this, I got a whole lot of equations today. Uh, you're gonna multiply your current body weight times 0.8 up to one gram, all right? And so that's how much protein you're gonna eat per day. So let's say you're 200 pounds, you wanna get leaner, you wanna you know, get down to let's say 180, uh, 185, you're gonna multiply your current body weight 200 times one on the high end as far as protein, eating 200 grams of protein a day. Then if you want to go a little bit less, you don't want to eat as much protein, just multiply your current body weight times 0.8. I don't know what that number is, but you do the math. You see what I'm saying? And so that's what that's the amount of protein that you're going to eat out of the amount of calories that you eat. And then everything else is going to go towards the carbs and the, uh, and the fats that you eat. All right. And so that's what we want to do for our nutrition. That's what's going to help you drop the body fat. And you got to be consistent with this shit, man. If you're not going to be consistent, you go find yourself like I used to be. You some weeks you start to see a little bit of results and then other weeks, you know, you look in the mirror and I'm like, damn, my body don't look as cut this week. You know, and the reason why is because I wasn't being consistent. And so nail down your nutrition first. And now that we got the nutrition out of the way, the second step is not just doing abs. A lot of guys just think I'm just going to do abs to get abs. But we want to focus on doing compound exercises in the gym. And so here's what I mean by that. 
You know, a lot of guys think that they need to work out every single day of the week. And it ain't nothing wrong with doing that if you want to. But most guys who I tend to help, they don't have that kind of time to be in the gym. And so what we do is we train anywhere between three to five days a week three to five days a week. If you're training three days a week, we're gonna do like a full body workout split all three days, or we may do upper body, lower body, full body. If we're doing four days a week, which is my personal favorite, we're gonna do two upper body days, and we're gonna do two lower body days. But two of those days doing upper body, we're actually gonna train abs, all right? And then if you're doing five days a week, you're still doing the upper lower body workout split, but that fifth day, it's like a areas of improvement day. And so if you know you wanna get your, your waistline right, you know you wanna get, let's say, your calf muscles right, whatever it is that you just wanna improve even more than all the other areas of your body, on that fifth day, that's the day where you train those things. And so now when it comes to the compound exercises, what I see most guys doing when they hit the gym, they like, Jay, I wanna have some big ass biceps, man. So I'm just gonna do a whole bunch of bicep curls. Or Jay, you know, I wanna get my arms big, so I'm gonna do a whole bunch of tricep extensions. But it takes up a lot of time. It ain't nothing wrong with doing it, but it just take up too much time. So we're gonna do things like bench press, where we're not just working our triceps, but we're also working our chest. So we're killing two birds with one stone. You see what I'm saying? And instead of just doing bicep curls, we're gonna do one of my, per my personal favorite exercises, which is pull-ups. And so now we're not just working our biceps, but we're also working our back. And when we work our back, guys, if you ever wanna have that V taper, right? You wanna have that V that you see all these models and these movie star actors having, right? You gotta make sure you're working on your back. And so that way it makes your waistline look slimmer. That's how you get the V. It ain't just from doing ab workouts, all right? And then I think I said this a little bit earlier, but what I love about doing the compound exercises is they just save so much time. You know, even me, even though, you know, I'm in the fitness industry, even though I'm a trainer, I don't wanna be in the gym all day. I ain't trying to be in the gym two, three hours a day. And so, you know, by me hitting multiple muscle groups, when I hit the gym, I'm only in the gym for 35, 45 minutes, you know, max 60 minutes if I'm, if I'm lifting, and I'm doing cardio. If you're in the gym any longer than that, then what the hell are you doing in the gym? <laughs> you wasting a whole lot of time. You probably on your phone or you're looking at your gym crush. You know, so you, you need to be working efficiently and effectively. You need to have a game plan when you hit the gym. You need to already know what exercise you go do. How many reps, how many sets, how much rest time, what type of cardio you go do. When you have these things in place, that's what you call a game plan. And that's how we get results in a shorter period of time than what it takes most people. And yeah, like I said earlier, you go hit them abs at least two to three days every single week. And you pick a good, you know, two to three exercises that you go do. You could do one of the ab machines. If you're in a position where you don't have too much weight on you and you can hold on to like the little handles on the pull-up bar, do your knee raises or your leg raises. But if you're not at that stage yet, you could just do, you know, that machine where you put your elbows on the pad and you're just raising your knees up or your legs up. Man, there's so many different variations of ab exercises that you can do to train your abs. Do two to three sets, 10 to 15 reps, and then just make sure you're being consistent with doing these training routines from upper body to lower body, training your abs. And I don't know about you, but I wanna look good, right? And so I wanna look good when I take my shirt off at the beach, when I go to the pool, you know, when I'm naked, and even with, with how my clothes fit when I put my clothes on, right? And so, and so this is why it's important that we hit all of our muscle groups, not just abs, we train the chest, we train the shoulders, we train the legs, we train in biceps, triceps, we train in back because this is gonna give you that aesthetic look. This is gonna give you that look good, naked look. And we get this by lifting weights and not just eating right and doing cardio. See, what most guys make the mistake of doing is they're just doing abs, cardio, and they may be eating some salads here and now or just you know starving themselves a little bit or cutting back on carbs and sugar, which they only go get so far. You know, and that's just not the way you want to go because you're going to end up looking like, you know, the little monster man on The Hobbit. You don't want to look like the monster man on The Hobbit. I think that's the little, the movie that it was. But basically, in other words, you're going to be looking all skinny, weak, and frail. We ain't trying to have that. I'm trying to help you guys be super built, chiseled, lean, just showstopper. And so now that you know that it's important that we nail down the nutrition first, then we start doing the lifting. And then the third and final thing that you got to do, yes. We gotta do some cardio, all right? But you ain't gotta do no crazy cardio. You ain't gotta be doing all these crazy backflips and 
all kind of stuff that you be seeing folks doing over on Instagram, but you wanna do anywhere between 75 to 150 minutes of cardio every single week. And here's why it's such a big difference between time frame. See, some people, they don't have a whole lot of time to be in the gym. You know, if they only have, let's say, 45 minutes to an hour, and they can only work out, let's say, three days a week, on those three days, yeah, they doing their lifting, they doing their workout stuff, but what they're gonna do with their cardio is more higher intensity cardio. And so you do 25 minutes all three days, that's 75 minutes. And then if you're somebody who has a little bit more time to be in the gym, let's say you got that hour where you can be in the gym a little bit longer and you can go to the gym a little bit more frequently, then what you're gonna do is do 30 minutes each time you go to the gym. You can make it high intense cardio still if you want to, or you could just go at a little bit more moderate pace. Because sometimes guys, when I go to the gym, I'm not doing crazy high intensity cardio. I might just walk at an incline on the treadmill at you know three miles per hour and do that for 30 minutes. Or I might get on the Stairmaster and you know do the Stairmaster at level you know six to eight for 30 minutes. You don't have to be nothing crazy. And then the thing about cardio, it's not just gonna help you burn a whole bunch of body fat and burn a lot of calories, but cardio actually helps with a lot of, you know, health and wellness as well. You know, if you're like me, you be sitting down doing a whole lot of work on a computer for hours at a time, you know, sometimes I find myself having brain fog. But just getting up and walking or doing some cardio on a Stairmaster, you know, I feel good again. I feel refreshed again. Like I, you know, got my second win, like I can go back to work and do some more without feeling all raggedy and beat up. And so, you know, cardio has a lot of health benefits for mentally and also heart and health wise. You know, it keeps your heart strong. Your heart is a muscle too. So on your journey to getting rid of belly fat, just make sure that you're not just making it all about getting rid of belly fat. Make sure that you're making it about your health, your fitness, just your overall well-being. You know, make sure you got a clean bill of health because when you do these things that I just shared with you, these are the pillars to not just get rid of your belly fat, it's to be able to just live a long, healthy, fit life. And so with that said guys, if you found the video helpful, be sure to hit that like button and also the subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos that I drop in the future. And if you feel like you need some help from me, you want some step-by-step -step guidance on exactly what you need to do in the gym, exactly what you need to do with your nutrition, down in the description, there'll be a link where you can hit the link, book a game plan call with me so that we can discuss your current lifestyle, your goals, your challenges and obstacles. That way I can figure out if I can help you create a game plan to be on the fast track to hitting the results that you want to have. 